Good evening ladies and gentlemen and welcome here. Uh, I am an anthropologist and I'm going to talk to you about the Greek island of Gavdos, uh, which is uh, an island that is south of Crete in the Libyan Sea and is uh, the southernmost point of Europe. Gavdos is a quite small island and only 30 to 35 people are living there permanently and it has not undergone large-scale development and electricity is provided by engines adapted to be generators. And for what, for what concerns waters and food supply, Gavdos depends on boat delivery coming from the, the nearby Crete. And these boats arrive every day during the summer, but in the winter uh, they run only every two weeks time, only every two weeks depending on the conditions of the weather. In the summer when it arrives the boat is full of tourists uh, which come out and colonize the island and swimming as ants. And tourism represents the main income for the residents and as tourists are seen as uh, walking bags of money. Of money. Tur tourism is mainly a family business and each household runs a taverna and some of them rent a few rooms as well. The main island attractions are wilderness and free camping. After the summer season the tourists leave the island and, the, and it returns to a state of desertedness as it is during the winter. During my stay in the island of Gavdos I had the opportunity to witness the visit of the president of Hellenic Democracy. and He came to speak to the residents and to the tourists about uh, uh, different issues and to inaugurate a telemedical unit. And in the previous days I was able to observe the build-up uh, to the event. The preparation for the event included uh, bulldozers clearing uh, uh, 
and enlarging the roads of the island. And on that very day in the morning, I could see helicopters arriving and military personnel. And uh, the taverna that was to host the event was decorated with Greek flags. And uh, at the same time, lay people uh, were uh, gathered there, and as were the authorities, including clergy and the boat owner of the island. Uh, and as well, there was uh, amateur and professional cameras that were ready to capture the event and the history taking place. The history that was written, written in that very moment was one of politics rather than development. And although the official purpose of the visit of the president was to inaugurate the telemedical center, uh, a better look uh, and a closer inspection could reveal that the generators needed to operate the center were brought only for this occasion and were taken away when the president left. And therefore the visit of the president seems to be better interpreted as a way of affirming Greek authority over the island, which uh, an authority which had been uh, challenged by Turkish government in 1996. Politics seem to have priority over development again after the facts of 1996 as the government the, uh, through the Prime Minister offered six million of pounds for development but so far there is no visible sign of any improvement in the structures of the island. And, uh, this leads us from national contestation to global economy as interests in the development of the island were shown by different private investors as for example Agnelli the owner of Fiat who proposed to turn the island into a holiday resort for his uh, employees. Or Latsis, the biggest uh, Greece uh, ship owner, uh, wanted to transform the nearby island of, very small island of Gavdupula, uh, into a refueling station for his fleet coming from Asia or Africa into Europe. Fortunately, these projects were not put into reality. Uh, because uh, there are uh, land titles in the island are not existent and there cannot be private claims of property over land in the island and therefore it's not possible to buy it. Yes, it's fucking political! Rethink political! Yes, it's fucking